Hello everyone, this is DJ Blink Blink. So, I got a request via my YouTube channel and what the guy wanted was for me to explain how I adjust my beat grid on Serato DJ. So, Serato DJ is what we have on the screen as you can see. I also have my keyboard here, which means when I'm pressing anything like 1, 2, W for whiskey, T for tango, you would see it on the screen itself. So, the markers for the beat grid for the songs are these numbers here, number 1, number 2, and number 3. The beat grid is the whole grid on the wavelet itself. So, I'm sure you've noticed, you've noticed sometimes when you upload songs on Serato DJ, you could discover that the markers are not in line with the beat of the song, which is the down beat itself. So, what we'll do now is we'll play this song, and we'll play this song, we'll see if the markers are in line with the song that is playing. So let's go. Okay, so definitely there's a problem here. This is the first down beat, and as you can see, the marker number three is way off. So I'll play it again, and you would see what I mean, and you would see the location of that marker. So this is where we want that marker to be. So there are various ways of doing this. You can either slip the whole grid itself with your controller, depending on your controller that you're using. So with mine, I can easily just slip it all the way there and then start counting for the other ones. But that's not what we're going to do. We'll use the Serato DJ software and try to adjust it. So what you can do then is you go into Edit Grid, which is right here. Click on Edit Grid. They have three options there. There is markers, which means you can set or clear the whole markers to clear the grid. You can adjust it by slipping the wavelength, which is what I would have done with my controller, and then slip it a little to balance it out. So what we're doing now is we need to move three backwards. So if we go by a bit there, you can see three is moving. You can see it's right there. As three is moving, four is also moving. So all the way, and then a little bit of just slip it a little and you see three is right at the point we want it to be however it's not ended there we now need to see if four is in the correct place so you now count so at this point where three is you can press x or you press set so which means you've put that marker at that spot there you can see it's turned red as soon as you pressed it there all right so now let's play this song and let's see what's going to happen Another problem again, so four is not in the correct place. So I'll count it now and you will see the song will play a little bit quietly, but I would count one, two, three, four. One, now when I say one, I want four to be there, the number four for the marker. So if I go one, two, three, four, the next one, which is one, we will need a marker at that spot. So let's count now. One, two, three, four, one. So a marker should be here. However, the marker is over here. So let's do it again and then you see what I mean. We go backwards to three. All right, so we count again now. One, two, three, four, one. All right, so we need a marker here. So let's press X or set. So that you can see three has remained where it is because you press X and set or set the first time. So four will remain here. Now what I do is this, when I try this, when I set three or four of it, and I see that it's not balancing up, I wipe out the whole grid and then I do it manually, which what we may, that's what we may end up doing. So let's go back to three and let's start counting now. All right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, so we need another one there. You press X, all right, so one, two, three, four, one. So you see, at this spot again, we press X. Now, I'm just going to do it one more time. If the next one is not in line after number seven, after number seven, then we'll wipe out the whole grid and we'll do it manually. All right, so let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. So definitely this grid 
we'll use the third step now, which means we'll wipe out the whole grid itself. So the way to do that easily, all right, is to press clear. So clear, 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 clear. There's nothing, all right? So if you look at the grid now, there is nothing on the grid. All right, so we're starting on a clean plate, and what we're going to do now is we'll set the first down beat ourselves. So we'll listen to the song, and then we'll count it. So let's go now. So we're waiting for the first down beat. All right, so that is the first down beat. So you press set or X there. All right, so we got our first one. So what we need to do now is go, we start counting now. One, two, three, four. So I'll tap X to set and then X to set and then until the whole grid is in line. So let's start counting now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So you can see it's set. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the whole grid is set now. So everything now is where it should be. So you can see. So basically, when you do all that, you just click on save, and now. You have a perfect grid. So that's how I adjust my beat grid for Serato DJ. Um, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. If you do have any other questions in regards to Serato DJ or DJing, let me know in the comments below. I would make a video about it. So yeah, this is DJ Bling Bling signing out. See you later, guys. Cheers.